let us solve your question on average product of labor and marginal product of labor the question is suppose the production function is given us is q is equal to l k minus 0.2 l square minus 0.8 k square where l and k are the units of labor and capital q denotes the total output and we are being uh, told that let us suppose that k is fixed at 10 unit is we have to find out at what values of labor average product of labor and marginal product of labor are equal and at what values of l apl reaches it is maximum okay so what we have been given we have this production function q is equal to l k minus 0.2 l square uh, minus 0.8 k square and we are also being told that k is equal to 10 if k is equal to 10 in this equation so our production function will become q is equal to uh, the value of k is 10 so i can write here 10 l minus 0.2 l square minus 0.8 k square means 10 square so 10 square is 100 and let me write it here 100 so our production function will become q is equal to 10 l minus 0.2 l square minus 0 0.8 80 percent of 100 is 80 okay given this production function first we need to find out the what is average product of labor okay so average product of labor is equal to the total product when we divide the total product by labor we get the average product of labor okay so we divide this equation with l so we have 10 l minus 0.2 l square minus 80 and to this we divide by l that means our average product of labor will come out to be so l is uh, you know divided to each of these terms so first term will become 10 minus here 1 l will get cancelled we will get 0.2 l minus here we will get 80 divided by l this is our apl next thing is we need to find out the marginal product of labor so what is the marginal product of labor m p l is simply the change in the total product that is the change in the output with respect to the change in the units of labor that means we differentiate the given production function with respect to labor derivative of l is 1 so we are left with 10 minus derivative of l square is 2 l so 2 into 2 is 2 into point 2 is 0 0.4 l minus mm, okay we will get only this very stuff here and derivative of a constant we know it is equal to 0 graphically what we are supposed to find out let's draw a small graph to make things more clear we have the units of labor on the horizontal axis and apl and marginal product of labor on vertical axis okay we have this average product of labor so it will look like let me draw it like this it will be our apl apl we have also marginal product of labor 10 as an intercept and negative slope and it will look like this let us suppose it it is our MPL okay now we are being told at what values of L APL and MPR MPL are equal okay so we equate average product of labor and marginal product of labor with each other to find out the level of labor so average product of labor is this term that is 10 minus 0 0.2 L minus 80 l sorry 80 divided by l is equal to marginal product of labor which is 10 minus 0 0.4 l okay solving we can cancel 10 and 10 10 10 are 10 okay so then transpose this point 4 l to lhs and let me write it here 0 0.2 l it will become plus 0 0.4 l here we have l and transpose this 80 upon l here it will become plus 80 divided by l so minus 0.2 plus 0.4 it becomes 0 0.2 0 
एल इज इक्वल टू ए टी डिवाइड बाई एल विच इम्प्लाइज जीरो पॉइंट टू एल स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू ए टी पॉइंट टू मीनज टू अपान टेन ओके टू अपान टेन मीनस वन अपान फाइव एंड लेट मी राइट इट हेयर वन अपान फाइव वन अपान फाइव एल स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू ए टी विच इम्प्लाइज एल स्क्वेयर वेन वी क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई सो और लेट्स ट्रांसपोज दिस फाइव इट विल गेट मल्टीप्लाइड सो फाइव एट आर फोर्टी इट बिकम्स फोर हंड्रेड ओके वेन वी ट्रांसपोज स्क्वेयर इट विल बिकम रूट हेयर वी विल गेट प्लस माइनस फोर हंड्रेड बट वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन ओनली पॉजिटिव वैल्यू ऑफ एल नाउ स्केयर रूट ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड एज वी नो इट इज ट्वेंटी दैट मीन्स वेन द यूनिट्स ऑफ लेबर आर इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी आवर मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट ऑफ लेबर इज इक्वल टू एवरेज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ लेबर ओके दिस इज द आंसर फॉर द फर्स्ट पार्ट सेकेंड पार्ट टेल्स अस एट वट वैल्यूज ऑफ एल एवरेज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ लेबर रिच रिच इट्स मैक्सिमम ओके सो वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एल वायर दिस रेड कर रिच इट्स मैक्सिमम ओके एंड वी विल राइट हियर ए पी एल विल रीच रीच मैक्सिमम वेन The slope of the APL is equal to zero. When slope slope S L O P E okay slope of APL is equal to zero. Now what is slope of APL? Slope of average product of labor means the derivative of the average product of labor with respect to Labor. Okay. So, what is our average product of labor? This is our APL. Let me write it here. APL is this function 10 minus 0.2L minus 80 divided by L. Now, the uh, slope of APL means the partial derivative of average product, average pro uh, product of labor with respect to labors. That is the derivative of APL with respect to L. It should be equal to zero. Okay. Now let's take the derivative of this function with respect to L. Derivative of a constant is zero. Derivative of L will be here one, so we will be left with minus zero point two. And derivative of one upon L. Okay. Here one upon L. It can be written as L to the power minus one. Ah, Mr. Sabra. Thank you, beta. So. We can write one upon l as l to the power minus one. Now derivative of this uh, l to the power minus one as by power function rule we know that this minus one will become coefficient and the exponent is subtracted by one. So we will get minus l to the power minus two, which becomes minus one upon l square. Okay, simple thing. We can write one upon l as l to the power minus one when we transpose numerator uh, denominator to denom numerator exponent sign changes. It becomes mm, if it is plus, it becomes minus. Now then we apply power function rule. Okay, derivative of l to the power minus one is simply minus one becomes coefficient and this exponent is subtracted by one, so we will get minus l raised power minus two, and then we again transpose this minus two. Uh, sorry, this l to the power minus two to the denominator exponent sign will again change here. Okay, and since we have here minus, then we have this minus also. Okay, minus uh, one upon l square, and it should be equal to zero. Okay, so uh, slope of APL is zero when the derivative of the average product of labor with respect to l is equal to zero. That means minus zero point two, and let's write it here. Minus zero point two is two upon ten. Minus into minus is plus one upon l square is equal to zero, which implies uh, which implies one upon l square is equal to transposing this it will become uh, okay it is if it is minus two upon ten it will become plus two upon ten. Now if I have and it will become here one upon Am I doing it correctly or not? Let me be very. Uh, 
I have done a mistake somewhere. Yes, here we have 80 here. Okay, sorry for this mistake. We have 80 here. So I was just showing you one upon L its derivative. But since we have 80 here, I will write here 80, and then it implies. Okay, let me rub this first. So here we have uh, minus 2 upon 10 minus minus is plus so we have plus 80 upon L square is equal to 0 which implies uh, 80 upon L square is equal to 2 upon 10 I don't have the space that's why I'm getting you know stuck here so it is 1 upon 5 which implies 5 eights are 40 or L square is equal to L square is equal to 4 and 800 5 eights are no, okay it is 400 400 okay transposing this square it will become under root L is equal to under root of 400 again we are getting the value of L is 20 okay so average product of labor will be maximum when modern uh, when we have 10 units of labor okay and here you can see that uh, average product of labor is maximum APL is maximum when MPL cuts APL okay so coincidentally this is a point uh, this again is a point where MPL and APL intersect and it is a, also a point where average product of labor is highest I hope I make myself clear in this video thank you